Hello everybody, and welcome back to Deez Universe Online with me and Haley Hellshot. And last time, I, I really can't remember where we were. I know we were getting close to finishing up Haley. Um, in fact, we're doing the last mission I think she has. So, probably break this up into two episodes. But, um, before we do anything, I have some news. Some news. So, for a while, I've been telling you guys that uh, I wanted to do a podcast with Keegan, my friend Keegan. And we finally were able to sit down and do one. And uh, we now have a YouTube channel for that. It is called Two Guys Talk Comics. Mm. It's going to have a lot of other people in it, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, we put up our first uh, podcast um, last night, uh, depending on when this video comes out. But it would mean a whole bunch to me if you guys would either hit the link on the screen or the link in the description um, and go check out that channel. And if you are so inclined to subscribe, because that would mean a lot if we could get like a ton of ton of you guys subscribing to it. And I mean, if you guys enjoy listening to me talk about stuff on here, you'll probably enjoy that, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. But let's go talk to Batman. Batman. What is the news, Batman? I've learned that Brainiac is storing exobite information on Earth's heroes aboard a reprogrammed Star Labs satellite. We need to get aboard and destroy it. But first, I need your help with Tio Morrow. He's the genius behind the Joker's toxin. He's holed up with the formula inside his secret lab. We need to get to him before Joker does. Head to his hideout, and Robin and I will meet you inside. Ah, yes. I remember this. We have to take on Tio Morrow, and then we can go up to the satellite. Uh, so Tio Trap. Get to Tio Morrow. Alright. Um, but, yeah, if you guys didn't, if you guys don't watch my Sherlock stuff, um, I talked about how, uh, I had taken some time off, and I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. The for everyone else who didn't watch that, um, thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, things have been a little chaotic since then, uh, so yeah, we're just trying to get back on uh, course with everything. I am anyway, and uh, I'm hoping I can do that here within the next couple weeks, so yeah. I kind of pushed everything behind, which also means I didn't really get the time to catch up on very much stuff. I'm actually quite behind on pretty much all the TV series that I intended to watch. Uh, but I'll get caught back up on them. But one thing I did get to do um, was finish season six. What season is it? Season four of Arrow, last season of Arrow. I got caught up on that, which was a lot of episodes, but I want to talk about that. So, whoosh, spoilers. As always, you guys know how th th that goes. But, okay, so last season, like, I. I I really liked the first couple seasons of Arrow, and then it kind of went down this weird, like, route, and they just continued to, like, pound in that he didn't go to the island, and then he was back on the island. Get this. This is Gotham Now with Vicki Vale. The Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane refused to comment on if the cryogenically contained villain, Mr. Freeze, managed to escape into Gotham. Mr. Freeze is said to be obsessed with curing his terminally ill wife, Nora, no matter what that means for the rest of Gotham. So if you feel a chill in the air, look out. This is Gotham Now. Um. 
But yeah, it kept hammering in this idea that he was back on the island. This season it was about magic because it deal dealt with uh, Damien Dark the entire time. Tomorrow's as crazy as the Joker in his own way. He's obsessed with creating more sentient android life forms like Red Tornado. The lab will be full of his robots and rigged with traps. Be careful. Aha. This is the one I want. There we go. And all the rest of these, I think. I don't think there's anything peculiar that I need to do for any of this. I just need to get through here. Although, okay. So. I know they uh, they gave us bookshelves, but look at these bookshelves. What the heck? What these book? I want the big bookshelves. I'm not complaining. They gave us bookshelves, but still. Who um, is this? Me. I wasn't expecting you. No matter. My moral bots will make short work of you. You'll Ow. never get out of my lab alive today or tomorrow. Is it because you're Tio Maro? Um. But. I liked parts of the beginning of the, the last season of Arrow. Uh, with them dealing with Damien Dark. But there were parts of it that were just kind of just. Uh, like, it, I just didn't care about it. Um. But in the end, uh, it was actually pretty cool. Uh, if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it, because it's kind of cool what happens. Uh, but Think you're out of the fire? Mm. Wrong! Let's turn up the heat! <laughs> turn up the heat. This is In the heat Hale of the moment. The notorious criminal scientist, Tio Morrow, has reputedly fled the island nation of Ulong. Heat of the moment. Create, quote, the life of the future met with disaster. Log entry. Tio Morrow will revolutionize television tube technology with hyper-advanced alien circuitry. Right? It's out there somewhere. I think. Um... So dark the entire time. Okay, so it's kind of pertinent to what's going on, uh, but all he's running for office. These androids uh, uh, to They'll do serious damage. Use everything you've got. And uh, Dark's wife is also running for office. So uh, Dark takes out uh, Felicity oh, mass, by. Uh, handicapping her and uh, paralyzing her legs uh, by damaging her spine like shooting her in the spine um I, don't, I honestly don't know that much about uh, or wait is it Felicity no it's not Felicity or right no yeah Felicity wait am I getting the names wrong Whatever. I'm pretty sure it's Felicity. That or I'm thinking... Smoke. Snow. Who's Snow from... Uh, forget it. Whatever. But she gets handicapped. And uh, Arrow decides he's like gonna do an all-out war with... Uh, with Damien Dark. Um... And it turns out that Dark is accruing power from this, like, weird totem, which also has to do with Vixen, which I didn't realize. I thought they were going to give Vixen her own animated TV show. Turns out they actually put Vixen in Arrow. I totally did not realize that from last season that Vixen was in it. It was, it was a surprise to me that she was in it, but it was pretty cool. Um doesn't really do a whole lot though it, it was kind of a bummer because i was like ah cool we're gonna get vixen and then she was kind of throw away in a way log entry the liquid cooling system in this brain case will allow me t.o morrow to overclock even the most complex cybernetic brains i guess this one's so hard to hit hitbox is tiny 
Um, yeah, it was kind of a bummer because she was kind of a throwaway character, but it you know, kind of led in the. Damn you, Jens! Be quiet! But please, have some respect for the genius that created them. I do, but not right now. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. See, it was it was uh leading a lot into like the magic side that they were getting at, and why Damien Dark had these powers. You'll be shocked at what you find here. <laughs> An electrified floor. Oh no! What will I do? Here we go. See, that's how you do it. Commissioner Gordon, this is Lucius Fox with the analysis you requested of substance chemical formula TOM Euphoriate. Cute if black humor is your thing. That man's original hypothesis is correct. It is highly mutagenic. I doubt the Joker himself knows what could happen with prolonged exposure. I assume Batman has some kind of antidote, but any given one will only work once. Woo! Lingering effects may occur. I fail Any questions? The master. Call me. I... Wow. He really went down that time. Uh... Damien Dark, he has powers. And they... they that basically was to talk about that but okay one thing they did which is is so unfair but for entry. Goodbye. i was thinking about it at first and i was like oh my god they might be referencing it but they talk about they they need to find a way to be able to um not be hurt by Damien Dark's powers or be able to defeat his this powers. Is Vicky Vale with a special JLA watch. Red Tornado, also known as Reddy, is actually an android I am the Red able Tornado. to harness the powers of the wind. is my creator. He was created by the evil his mastermind T.O. Surrender before I am forced to hurt you. And joined the league. Now this astonishing so android gay. is reported missing. Has some secret programming kicked Ooh, that, that in? that must have really hurt him. Batman is reportedly on the case. Damage level critical. And reserve power to repair systems. I th thank you. With my, my systems failing, perhaps I can finally escape. This is, this is only the big beginning. Beware. Ow. I didn't know he explodes. Then he just fell down and explodes into ice. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Maybe he teleported out and made ice. The Joker's arrived. He has Morrow trapped up ahead. Robert and I are moving in. Get here as quickly as you can. The Joker's arrived. Batman, my antidote isn't working. Put in. I don't feel so good. No toxin. Can't. Concentrate. My own toxin. What a ride! <laughs> this toxin is really something. I knew Batman and Joker would arrive in force, so I created a new toxin just for them. Alas, not enough left for you. Ah well. <laughs> Ta ta. Tomorrow belongs to T. O. Morrow. No! Batsman, I have to defeat him. <laughs> that was kind of weird. It's like target Batman. <laughs> um Oh yeah. So when they're trying to find a way to what defeat a uh yeah! Damien Dark, they start talking about who they can get to help them. And they like, we should get Constantine, right? And Arrow, uh, Green Arrow, he's like, nah, Constantine's in hell. <laughs> and I was, I think they made some joke about it, like, it's very strange. This is a very awkward situation. Bye, Joker. I did not know he could fly. 
Oracle. Robert and I have been gassed with the toxin. Get us back to the back. Sometimes I gotta go beep beep. Um, which one would be better? Back is 28, and that's 26. So let's go with waste. Why not? There we go. Wee! I got a new waste. I'm so happy. Um. Oh yeah, there's Chloe's in here. Anyway, finish my idea before I get off topic again. Uh, hello, Contraces. Uh, but they mentioned Constantine. And all I could think of was, at first, I was like, Oh my god, they're referencing Constantine! That means you could bring Constantine back! But then I realized the fact that they're like, Constantine's in hell. I think they mean he's in production hell. Which means... <sighs> my dreams of Constantine coming back will probably never happen. But you never know. Log entry. One day, little metal man, you will become a real boy. Thanks to T.O. Morrow. Yay, T.O. Morrow. All key data has For been some reason, for like little metal boys. The criterion reached. I that. Damage I to that remaining one, yeah. data will result in a purge to eliminate the original data source. We. All right, let's get the heck out of this place. We escaped. Mm, yeah. Analysis that? of that toxin shows definite mutagenic properties. Batman will need time to devise an antidote. We need to get you up to that satellite. To the satellite. To the window. To the wow. Updating your map with the location of the Star Labs teleporter node. It's in a Star Labs transporter base, which has been taken over by Brainiac. Get ready. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't know if I want to necessarily complete that one just yet. You know what I mean? Now nah, let's go start it. We'll start doing that. And probably going to be a shorter episode today. Uh, I got to be honest. It's been kind of a rough day. So I just, meh. It's one of those days, you know. My thoughts are kind of rambly. Which is what you guys are going to figure out. If you haven't already. Hello, Arkham Prodigy. Or whatever your name was. Welcome to Gotham Now. I'm Vicky Vale. The supervillain Killer Frost was recently spotted here in Gotham. Killer Frost is attracted to body heat, which she drains from her victims to power her cold. Wee. Um. But yeah, that was just kind of a nice little note, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to really take it, honestly. But, I, I'm still holding out hope for Constantine. You guys know how I am with that. But anyway, the rest of the first seat, or the last season, not first season, um, focused on them trying to take out Dark and also, like, deal with Diggle's brother, which got crazy because Diggle's brother, they like, they're like, we trust Diggle's brother. And then it turned out that he was evil. Because uh, he's always evil. Um. But, yeah. So, that that was kind of a bummer. Dealing with that whole thing. And then he ended up having to shoot his brother. But the cooler thing that happened was that Damien Dark had built this, like, crazy, like, city. It's Ooh. Batman. My makeshift antidote is working, but slowly. I'll guide you through the satellite. You need to hack three separate terminals to gain access to and destroy the mainframe. I'm bypassing the door to the inverse gravitational lab. Restore the gravity. Man, I'm so access. sure on marks of victory. I might have to do that next time. But, um... He built this crazy underground city in his plan was to basically, which was also really cool, because, well, uh, let me explain. 
but uh, he uses a program that only uh, Cadmus has, Amanda Waller had, but it ended up in the possession of Diggle's wife. Where am I going again? Let's forget this part. Over there. There we go. Um, it ends up in her possession. And Damien Dark steals it from her. But it's a program that basically allows Cadmus to, like, take over the world's nukes in case of, um, like, all-out World War Three, so that nobody can fire them. But he's using them to fire all the missiles, or all the nukes and stuff, missiles in the world. Um to destroy everything and create like a new world underneath the cities. I don't know, it's a weird plan. But of course it's Damien Dark and he's evil and he's like, I'm going to destroy the world. Everyone will die. And plonk. And then the little crabby guys come. Um, but I, I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. And then they were dealing with anarchy because he was being crazy. But anyway, um, I swear it's Felicity Smoke. Felicity Smoke? I hope I'm right. I feel like I'm wrong, though. No, I, I think I'm right. Felicity. Um, and her dad, who is the calculator. That was pretty cool. I really liked having them have this interaction. Her and her father. And, um... This vocabulator will enable cybernetic life forms to communicate via speech. Courtesy of T.O. Morrow. Watching them, like, work together to try to take down Dark... Which was pretty cool, honestly. I really, really dug that. Um, Good. I'm opening the door to Docking Bay Alpha. I Dark you Bay clear Alpha. The bay of Brainiac forces before you go any further. But yeah, I, I, I just, I really Switch dug their interaction and stuff because he was so cocky about everything, but so was, so was she. Um, but it was, it was also nice to just kind of see that whole interaction. And then Laurel died. What the heck, man? Like, that family cannot get a break. Not, not at all. Like, everyone dies. Um, I mean, one of them came back, but she's off on adventures adventures in time um bam it was overall the end of the season was really good but the beginning of this season was kind of meh, you know but i'm glad i ended up finishing it because it got me excited for uh the new season oh by the way uh in the end dark dies they have like this all-out war in the city or whatever which was very reminiscent of um what am i doing door door why is there an x right here i did that one already did i ah there we go wait well, guys it was a different one i did Ooh. Oh, never another time capsule. Got so many of these things. Um, but they had this like all out war and then uh Arrow made the decision and I was so happy that he did. It was the best moment ever. Um he just stabs Dark and kills him. And I was like, yay! Cause he finally had he trains with I forget what her name is, but trains with a uh, a with 
way, like a magic lady. I forget what her name is. But trains with her and she teaches him how to like combat Dark's powers, even though his powers are like super duper duper strong. Um but he ends up being able to block it, and then they have a fist fight, and uh, Ollie stabs Dark and kills him. And it was awesome, because they like talk about it later, and they're like, you just killed him. And uh, he's like, I came to the conclusion that if, or maybe he didn't say it at the end of that, but he said it at the beginning of uh, season one at least, or the new season, the first episode of this new season. But he's like, if I can't make the hard choice, then I shouldn't be out on the street at all. And I was like, yes, that is the best. I like that idea completely. That's the same idea I have with SJ. That's basically how he thinks. He's like, if I can't be able to do what it takes to stop the crime, then I shouldn't be a hero at all. And I was like, yes. That is exactly how it should be. In my opinion, if you're a hero, you gotta go to every extreme to now win. Now onto life support systems. Hmm. The satellite has marked your presence as hostile, so expect incoming. They're going to attack me. Yeah, overall, it was pretty cool. I'm interested to see what they're going to do with the big bad this season um the first episode and i think it, i think i've seen the first and second episode i'm pretty sure yeah um but i uh, i'm interested to see what the big big bad is going to be this season because so far it seems like the big bad for this season I haven't seen any of the current episodes, so I don't know yet. So, you, if you guys are going to tell me, tell me in the comments section. Uh, but don't ruin it for other people. That's my job to ruin it for everyone. <laughs> um, but so far, it seems like it's going to be Prometheus, which is super awesome. Like, how many shows do you know that they're like, uh, so uh, what kind of bad guy are we going to get? And they're like, why don't we get Prometheus? The, like, Batman wannabe villain type, like, anti-hero. Um, so I'm pretty down for that. Also, they brought in uh, Ragman this season, which is really cool. Which I think he's in Batman Incorporated, I think. Uh, and rolls around alongside of... Uh, Batwoman and um, Black Canary and a couple of other ones. At least in the new 52, uh, he did. So, yeah, I, I'm. Ragman was super cool. I'm glad they have him in it. And I hope I get to see more Ragman because he's pretty cool. And I want to see more Prometheus. And I hope they give him his ridiculous suit. Which makes him look like he's from, like, Gundam or something. Because that suit is awesome. But, we'll see. I don't know. Only time will tell if it will get better or not. Um, well, yeah. It seems like it's going to be pretty interesting this season. But, I know it's early for our episode. But, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. But, before I go... Tomorrow is the elections, or it might be today, depending on when this video comes out. You guys know how that works. Generally, it comes out like the next day or whatever. But uh, tomorrow, today, is the elections, the 8th. So you guys should, if you, if you have the ability to vote and you want to vote, you should go out and vote. Now, I know in the past I've talked about that I didn't want to vote. But then I changed my mind and uh, there were some pretty important stuff on the ballots for my state. So you guys, if you have the ability to vote, take a look at some of the things that are on the ballot and decide 
if those things matter enough to you. Even if, like, the presidency is gonna be a sham uh, election, in my opinion, uh, you should at least look into, like, the bills and things and the uh, laws that are going to go into effect and see, like, the people that are going to be in the Senate and stuff and see if they their ideas align with yours. If you want to vote, you don't have to vote, and that's your right to not vote if you don't want to. But it's also your right to vote if you want to. Um, and I'm not a person who judges either way. Like I said, I wasn't going to vote, but then I changed my mind. Uh, it Again, it's your decision. But I know a lot of you guys are too young to vote. So just enjoy the elections tomorrow. And probably prepared for World War III. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, everybody. Sorry it's a shorter episode. I'm just... I want to save the ending for next time, and I think you guys will like the ending for Haley. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. If you have seen stuff with Arrow... Please feel free to post it in the comment section. Tell me stuff. Or if I fuck things up, tell me. And I will be like, I'm sorry. My brain is like tonight. But yeah, thank you everyone. And I will see you all next time.